I'm Kyle, sales manager at the Garden City Co-op. Today I'm here to talk about Diplodia ear rot. Diplodia ear rot is a concern due to possible economic losses, storage, and grain quality concerns. Diplodia ear rot is, is caused by a fungus and can be an increased risk to cornfields that are no-till or reduced till, continuous corn, or susceptible hybrids. Weather also plays a huge role in the start of Diplodia ear rot. Dry weather followed by warm, wet weather for up to 21 days after silking can cause the disease to grow and spread. Earworms damage is also associated with, with the disease. Diplodia ear rot is a grayish or grayish brown mold that uh, begins to grow on and between the kernels. It usually starts at the base of the ear and progresses to the tip. One other um, identification is ears also will weigh noticeably less. Therefore, I mean, it causes a, basically a decrease in test weights. The last ID of the disease is uh, pycnidia, which is um, basically the spores that it produces. These appear as black specks scattered on the husks, cobs, and sides of the kernels. One of the big things is the possible economic losses and also some storage concerns that the disease brings. Diplodia does not produce mycotoxin, which can be harmful to livestock, but does decrease test weights. Also, you have um, an increase in total damaged kernels, or TDK, um, an increase in broken corn and foreign material, um, also known as BCFM, and just overall lower feed values and grain quality. If this disease gets bad enough in fields, you know, it could result in possible discounts or even rejection of corn. Storage is a challenge as well with Diplodia due to the fact that it can continue to spread in a grain elevator. They say it's important that you store Diplodia infected um, corn um, separate from other corn just due to this fact. The key is to try to get rid of Diplodia infected corn as quick as possible from a grain storage facility um, just so it doesn't have time to spread. If it is going to be stored for an extended period of time, they say that it should be uh, dried below 14% moisture and that you need to cool the grain down to 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And you know, the temperature depends on, like I said, how long you're gonna, gonna store that grain. To decrease the risk of diplodia for the future, there are a few things that uh, the farmers can do. Crop rotation to, to basically rotate out a continuous corn. Um, or another thing that, uh, that you can do is plant um, a resistant variety. There's, there's some varieties that have, that have better resistance to diplodia ear rot than others. So that, that can be another one. And then finally is to control residue um, from the previous year if you do go continuous corn. This can be accomplished by a good tillage practice. So keep a look out in those, in those corn fields during harvest. Maybe check to make sure that uh, quality and that there's not any of this symptomology in your corn fields. And if there's anything else we can help you with at, here at the Garden City Co-op, please contact one of the salesmen or even one of the grain um, merchandisers here at the co-op and we can answer um, any questions that you might have.